For a lot of people, a Windows PC is an investment. This is a PC that, granted, you're only doing simple things with, like opening emails, online shopping, and maybe the kids are doing their homework on. But you want it to last. And that is a fair expectation. Let's set the scene. Right now, you might be on Windows 10. You've had your PC for a few years now, and it's starting to show its age. And to add to that, support of Windows 10 will be ending on 2025. That seems like ages away, but it will creep up pretty fast. And then what? What's Windows 11 like? You're used to Windows 10. Is Windows 11 as easy and simple to use? What about the device itself? There are so many PCs out there to choose from. How can you possibly get down to just a few devices? Hey y'all, Deva here from the Expert Zone Southeast Asia team working with Microsoft. And today, we are looking at the Windows 11 Everyday Collection. If you're new to this channel or have no idea what the Windows Collections are, let's give you a quick reminder. The Windows Collections are designed to divide all the Windows 11 PC out there as, let's face it, there are a lot of them. So, by knowing the kind of PC you need, you can look at a collection of device instead of absolutely everything which makes things a little easier to digest. There are four Windows collections we like to talk about. Light use, everyday, performance, and high performance. Light use is for browsing, streaming, and early learning. The performance collection is for more demanding work and educational use, especially if productivity apps are part of your daily grind. High performance is for professional use like video editing or animation as well as high-end PC gaming. An everyday PC is a good value for money device with it sitting roughly between 500 to 1100 Singapore dollars while still having excellent performance to do the basic and do them well. Everyday PCs are also a great option if you have been holding onto your Windows 10 PC for many years now and is thinking, is it the right time to invest in something new? Especially with Windows 10 end of support getting closer and closer, October 2025 to be precise. So, that's your definition. But what does an everyday PC actually look like? Here are three examples for you to consider when looking for your very own everyday PC. We'll kick things off with the Surface Laptop Go 2. This Windows 11 PC is made by Microsoft. The Surface Laptop Go 2 is the lightest Surface Laptop from that family of devices with 11 Gen Intel i5 and up to 13.5 hours of battery life. It has a 12.4 inch touchscreen with a great typing experience, HD webcam and a premium design. All this in a device that starts from 989 Singapore dollars and up making it a great choice for people looking for a device that has enough performance for things like email, streaming, and planning all packaged up into a premium feeling looking device. The Surface Laptop Go is especially good for young students in secondary school or for those getting their tertiary education that need a device for typing essay or just watching their favourite shows while relaxing in the evening. A full-size keyboard has fast, fluid key travel, but that's not all. The PixelSense touch display and its 3 by 2 aspect ratio gives you more vertical screen real estate for getting things done or just scrolling online. Plus, on selected models, you will get Windows Hello and OneTouch sign-in. With a scan of a fingerprint, you can get right back into whatever you were doing. There's not much I need to say really. It's a laptop that looks great, is easy to use, and does what you need it to do. So, if that sounds like a good device for you, the Surface Laptop Go 2 is a great option. The HP Pavilion brand has a few different models you can look at. There are the X360 models, which are 2-in-1 devices. There's a 15-inch model, so you have a bigger screen for viewing. But to keep things simple, we're going to look at the HP Pavilion 14. This device can come in a range of different specs with AMD and Intel variants. We won't dive too much into that. The important thing to know is that the Pavilion laptops are designed for portable performance with design features aimed at streaming your favourite shows, whether you're at home, on the go, or in school. The Full HD display gives you a clear picture with the laptop itself featuring dual speakers with audio by BNO. If you do get the X360 variant, this means you can also flip your screen around 
for an even easier experience. As for the battery life, you can get up to 50% charge in 30 minutes, so you can keep things going even if you are short on time. The HP Pavilion 14 is a great option if you are looking for a compact laptop that delivers on portability while powering everyday features like email, streaming, schoolwork and more. If you're looking for a laptop that has everything you need to get started in a simple, sleek design, Acer has you covered with the Acer Aspire 3. With prices between 548 and 1098 Singapore dollars, depending on the model, the Acer Aspire 3 is available with Intel 12th Gen processor or AMD Ryzen 7000 series processors. Whatever version you go with, you will have a device that's great for getting things done, be that productivity apps, email, or entertainment. The Aspire 3 has a sleek metal cover which comes in a selection of vibrant colours. It's also thin and light at just 1.6 kg in weight and 18.9 mm in thickness. It has a HD display which features Acer's blue light shield to lower levels of harmful blue light exposures when you're at your PC for a long period of time. You also will get long-lasting battery, support for the latest Wi-Fi standard and a full selection of ports. In short, the Acer Aspire 3 is exactly what it claims to be. Everything you need to get started in a simple, sleek design. So, those are a few examples of laptops we think are great choices when you're looking at everyday collections. Remember, if you are in store, you can see the devices like the ones we mentioned and give them a bit of a test drive. Researching online is great, like watching this video. But you can learn a lot more from trying it out for yourself, like how will it fit in your bag and how much it weighs when you pick it up. Once you're there though, what can you do with Windows 11? This is especially important if you're coming from Windows 10. How easy is Windows 11 to use? How can it save you time? Will you even like it? Here are a few features that we think are great to try on on an everyday PC. First, we should talk about how you can get started, literally. There's an app called Get Started which is pre-installed on new Windows 11 PCs. It's a great place to start if you're new to Windows 11 and just want a quick catch up to where everything is. With it, you can customize your experience, get tips that covers the basics of Windows 11. Things like creating folders in your start menu or how to use new favorite section on your file explorer. Once you're all set, you can move on to the tips app, which has even more for you to learn and explore on your own time. Another great app is to try the Photos app. This is especially good if you're an iPhone user. With the Photos app, you can now log in into your iCloud account. So not only can you see all the photos from various folders on your PC and OneDrive, you can also see photos and videos from iCloud, making it easier than ever to keep memories in one place. One thing that might be different for you moving from Windows 10 is the snipping tool. On Windows 11, snipping tool is better than ever. As always, you can take a full screenshot or just copy a selection of the screen. On one of the latest editions, if you're on Windows 11 already, is that now you can record your screen using snipping tools. That's not all. You have the flexibility to choose the specific section of the screen you want to record. So, if you want to get creative with your homework or just send someone a screen recording of your latest PowerPoint, it's now easier to do. The last thing we'll show off is Windows security. If you're moving on to a new Windows PC, it's important to know your files, accounts, general PC health is secure. Windows security is pre-installed on all Windows 11 devices, giving you antivirus and firewall protection, enhanced protection from untrusted apps, and device security for the hardware itself. So, now you know the moment you turn on your Windows 11 PC for the first time, you're protected. And there you have it, the everyday collection. Let's recap. The Windows Everyday PC is a PC designed for casual use. Maybe you need it for a family device that everyone can access, for emails, browsing, or streaming, or you need a PC that can be used for school. Whatever you need it for, an Everyday PC is a great value option if you need a device that can do the basic in a slick design that's going to last. Remember what we said earlier as well. If you can, make sure to go down to a store and test drive an Everyday PC. There's no better way of knowing if it's right for you than getting it in your hands. 
And if you're considering moving from Windows 10 and trying out Windows 11 for the first time, remember, there are lots of new features that can make navigating Windows easier than ever. Windows 11 itself has the highest satisfaction rating of any Windows ever. So there has never been a better time to make the jump into something new. If you have enjoyed this video and want to see more Microsoft related content, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. We have one more collection to talk about, which is light use. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it out. And as usual, let us know what other type of content you would like to see on the comment section below. Well, that's all for me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the next one.